Yo, what's good guys, Coach of Tech here. So today we got another Chinese air cooler to review. Let's go. Now this over here is from Abkincor, Abkukor, however you pronounce it, Joe. But anyways, you copped this for $50 on Amazon. I'll have the link in the description below. I believe it just comes in black. It looks very nice. The box, at least the presentation looks pretty dope. We have the five volt ARGB sync over here. We have all the compatibilities with Intel and AMD on the box. I will also have it in the link in the description below to just to make things easier. But anyways, we got like, from AM4 the way to AM2, from LGA755 to uh, 2011, I wanna say, and Core i3, i5, and i7 as well. But again, all that information is gonna be broken down. Um, dimensions here and everything about the heatsink and the fan broken down. I will have this in the description below as well. Uh, ba -bum, what do we got here? We got the fan speed all the way from 800 to 1800 RPM, so it's a PWM fan, which is nice, but check it out over here. Uh, again, more literature and stuff over here. Very nice broken down. I gotta say they didn't like, you know, play games on the box and presentation. But anyways, let's, let's go. Let's see what we got here. So, okay, so we have a big, wow, very big accessory box. We have the, I, we have some sort of literature over here. We have here for the haters, uh, blah, 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 what do we got? Let's see, wow. Okay, we got, I think this is the cooler itself. And then I wanna say these are the fans, okay. That's pretty dope. Let's see what it do now. Uh, anyway, so this is Hurricane Dual Sync Easy Manual. Uh, okay, so this is the manual, basically the instructional guys I mentioned, essentially how to install everything. We will talk about in this video of how to install it, performance testing, and you know, all typical, typical Chinese air cooler and whatnot. You know, typical in kosher style. Uh, warranty information as well. Uh, but, but, but what do we got here? This is in different languages, but again, most information is gonna be in the description below. And this is the accessory box. Like I said, it's pretty big. Um, okay, so we have, uh, I wanna say this is a fan splitter over here. So this is for two fans. So we actually get to do two fans here with this cooler, which is pretty dope. Again, a four pin, and then we have our females over here. So this is a fan splitter. Uh, we have our mounting guide over here. Oh, it's actually dope. It actually tells you Intel. Right, I'm feeling this. It actually tells you AMD, and then it actually tells you the 2011 socket as well. Very nice, very nice broken down. Uh, but um, what is this? I want to say this is a backplate for I want to say Intel and AMD. If I'm looking at, or this is just for. Okay, so I believe this is just okay. So one side, all right. So in the one side we have AMD, and then in the other side we have Intel. Uh, what do we got else here? So we have other things, but these little things over here, AMD, Intel. I gotta see what this is for. We have screws and then, I have no idea what this is. Is this thermal paste? This might be a little thermal paste. If this is thermal paste, we will be using thermal paste, which is provided to us via the cooler, just to make everything fair and simple. Um, so that's out of the way. Let's check out, we got how many copper heat pipes over here? We got one, two, three, four. So only four we got here, but this black is fuego. Very nice, all black design, very dope. I am feeling that. Let's check out the fans over here. And like I did say, they actually gave us two of these Abacor fans. I believe I actually did review these fans too. Very nice. So we have um, your uh, male three pin over here, just basically a splitter. Uh, and then we have the female, and then we have the four pin uh, the header over here. For the fans but installing them oh wow okay so it's it's already so simple okay you just snap them on wow that's dope remember you, you guys know those garbage little pla uh, uh, aluminum uh, clips were just annoying to install this is already designed i got yo this is probably the best design on a um on a chinese uh, air cooler which i've honestly reviewed i mean let me know in the comments like this is so easy guys look dope and that's it and that's basically it. If you want to pop, just pull these out and that's it, it comes out. Wow, fuego, that's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, what, what you're gonna do is just, you know, plug them in and the plug in, the, the plug -in process, I imagine will be very, very easy as well. You're just gonna want to daisy chain them. So this one is gonna go into here, right? And then what you're gonna do is this one if you, you know, you plug this into your ARGB header on your MOBO to give the lights, and then both of these four pins, what essentially you're gonna do is you're gonna use the splitter, right? You're gonna plug in these 
these two males into this female, and then you're gonna plug in this male into your CPU fan header or to any um, PWM fan header on your MOBO. But that's basically it. Let's talk about, let's, let's do the installation, let's talk about performance, let's do all that fun, good stuff as we always do, yo. Let's go. All right, so I got everything installed into the air cooler. I gotta say, man, this instructional guide is, is terrible, all right? It's very, very difficult to understand. Doesn't go through everything. Just very lazy instructional guide. Now, the back plate is both for Intel and AMD. As you guys, if it's gonna focus, it says both AMD and Intel. It's black. I know it's a little hard to see. But anyways, these clips are just basically clips to hold in this um, screw over here, this metallic screw. Uh, the problem is with these clips, my clip, the plastic clip broke. They are plastic. So it just basically gives you an orientation. It says AMD and Intel, and you put it whichever and then you put in the back plate into here and then you mount this right since i'm using amd this is how you mount it you see how i have the screws right screwed on below and then these retention screws are essentially going to go in to these holes like that and then bam and you know and then you mount the fans but that's basically it but i gotta say like i said the instruction guide is pretty difficult but i hope this guys helps you let me know so the air cooler is installed you guys can see the rgb fans looking absolutely beautiful now i gotta say the left fan so essentially it's inverted so as you guys could see it so what it's doing it's pushing air this way so it's exhausting air so for instance this will show best show you guys you see how you see how it's pushing air? So it's exhausting air. This fan is exhausting air. It's basically a push-pull configuration. This, this fan is uh, pulling air inside, and then this fan is basically exhausting air out. Uh, another thing with this, um, so there's no offset for this fan. So if you guys are running, you see how the, I have the fans, the mounting, I gotta say the mounting mechanism is fantastic, but the fans clip on really easy, but I wish they had just an offset, so it'll be a little, um, it'll be a little more flush inside but i mean it looks great like this regardless but anyways let me get to the testing uh and then the wires up there i want to say it was you know you just got to be you know make them all clean and whatnot it's gonna be a little tedious but overall i mean it goes perfectly fine with the ram there's no issues this side same thing but let's get into the testing now let's go all right so i have 8 of 64 basically just running here with the specs, we got minimum temperatures at 36 degrees C. We got the fan running at 1000 RPM. Of course, this is the Ryzen 7 2700X. Uh, the, the temperatures are fluctuating. We got a minimum, like I said, at 36. The fans are pretty quiet at this RPM. I'm gonna let you guys hear right now. Now it's running at four gigahertz at all cores. Now let me put in uh, let me turn on the stress test of A to 64 and basically let's see how it rocks. All right, so we got 63 degrees Celsius, basically fluctuating between 62 and 63. We have the fan running at 1500 RPM. I'm gonna let you guys uh, hear it right now. I gotta say the fans are pretty quiet, man. Check them out. It's doing a pretty decent job at 1500 RPM. It's like I said, it's not too loud. Uh, I'm gonna have other coolers in the description below with the temperatures and whatnot. I gotta say it's a little it's running a little hot on the hot side at least for me uh, Also the thermal paste that it came with guys. It's absolutely terrible I don't know why it didn't come in a tube. It came in a, uh, in, 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 a in a like a seal I don't understand what the heck they did. But anyways, let's run a uh, valley and see the highest temperature this uh, cooler gets Let's go. All right So lastly, we do have valley running in the background over here and as well as a to 64 We have uh, MSI afterburn. I just have everything cranked up as always now the fan is running at it, i think the max went up to 1800 rpm it's running at 1735. now the cpu we did get maximum temperatures at 74 degrees c it hit 75 but it was, it's like it's like staying around 73 74. it actually surprised me i thought it's going to be a little more hotter I, 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 was, I was thinking maybe it's going to go up to like 77 76 but it actually it fooled me it's doing a pretty decent job um Overall, I gotta say it's, you know, for the price, I would, uh, it's, it's nice with all the RGBs and with all the fans. Personally, I mean, you guys are gonna see the uh, the, 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 the fan, uh, the temperatures in the description below with other coolers. Personally, maybe I would go with something a little more, less expensive that would perform uh, as good as this, maybe slightly, substantially to a, a degree higher in, in temperature. But I mean, it's a decent cooler, it, it really is. Uh, the thermal paste thing was trash. I really didn't like that. I wish they had like an offset so you could install um, the fans a bit easier, but it's okay. It's decent. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. As always, guys, I'm Kosher Tech. 
We'll catch you cats next time. Deuces.